Hello, my friends. Today we're discussing in detail the transmission oil change kit with our part number 100 135 0114. This transmission oil change kit is designed for the Audi S Tronic 7 speed DSG transmission. This transmission was used exclusively in all wheel drive vehicles from the Audi A4 to the Audi Q5. Included in this kit are 7 liters of transmission specific oil, specially formulated for this dual clutch transmission, which is installed here in the Audi. Then, as you would expect from Mile, we have all the necessary accessories included. Here's a noteworthy special feature. We actually have two different caps for the external filter. Why are there two? I'll show you why under the car in a moment when I perform the oil change. Now that we've read out the error memory and cleared enough space around the transmission to more easily access the oil pan, we can proceed to begin draining the oil. While the oil is draining from the oil pan, we can now carefully replace the external oil filter. It's important to note that there are actually two different versions of the filter cap that can be installed there. As shown in our assembly instructions, there is version 1, which features an additional plastic clip that securely holds the cap against rotation, or version 2. In that case, there is a locking tab on the filter console that also effectively prevents the cap from rotating. Well, life is full of surprises. Obviously, an oil change has already been done on this vehicle before. Now, I've noticed the following. Here, in this situation, a filter has been installed that does not fully meet the required specifications. You can clearly see how the filter has collapsed. This is an indicator that the filter does not have the necessary flow rates, which a filter like this must have. Of course, this can lead to insufficient lubrication in the transmission and consequently to very expensive consequential damage. Just for comparison, this is how the real filter should look. Stop, here we have it. This is a paper filter. This is what we call wound filter paper. For comparison, this right here is actually some kind of fiber material. Isam Habos was white. Based on the removed filter cap, we now carefully select the most appropriate cap from the set. Hold. Next, we carefully and gently put the sealing ring onto the cap here, making sure it is securely in place. I always take a bit of oil from the transmission and lubricate it, so that it slides much more smoothly and easily in the housing later on. Then carefully insert the filter and screw the cover on tightly, making sure it is secure. Tightening torque here is 8 Newton meters. As the next step, we now unscrew the oil pan from the transmission. Next, I will now remove the oil pan gasket, clean the oil pan and replace the magnets. The new magnets are now carefully put in place of the old ones, in a careful manner.
Next, we can now remove the filter. We have to be particularly careful here because there is an electrical wire on the back that we shouldn't damage. You can simply pull it out to the back. You can hear it gurgling. A bit of residual oil still comes out of the mechatronics and then you can pull it downwards. The tube is now pushed from the filter into the transmission at the front here. And after that, the filter needs to be pressed in up here. There is a ring on the filter here, but it does not have a sealing function. It's only there to ensure the filter sits properly. So as the next step, we can actually already install the oil pan. But before we do that, we need to properly clean the sealing surface. This should be as grease-free as possible. All the screws are now in place on the oil pan. We will now securely tighten them in a crisscross pattern with 10 Newton meters per screw. As the next step, we can now screw in the drain plug again. It is fitted here with a new sealing ring and will be tightened with 45 Newton meters. Now, as the next step, we can already fill the transmission. We fill in transmission oil until the oil starts to run out of the transmission fill plug. The engine is off during this process. For now, we will carefully close the fill opening again and move on to the next step. Using a suitable diagnostic device, we read out the transmission oil temperature and start the engine. The tester is connected. We have selected transmission oil temperature. Why? We need a test temperature between 30 and 50 degrees. Next, we carefully shift through all of the available drive positions, holding each one for at least two seconds. And now we carefully fill in enough oil until it starts to run out here again, just like before. The transmission oil is now running out. We have now reached the correct oil level. I can now carefully screw in the fill plug, which is also called the inspection plug, and securely tighten it to 45 Newton meters. The transmission is now properly filled. The fill level is correct. I will now reassemble the car so it is ready to drive again. Take a test drive and then read out the error memory again. Have fun and drive safely.